Hey, it's been a commit. I'm back for another paleo tour. I'm here with I love your name, Jelly of the Donut. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, thanks. <laughs> How you doing? I, I'm doing great. I, I love me a good paleo tour. Yeah, I've actually been um like binging all of your tours lately. Oh shucks. So. <laughs> it's a, been fun. It's a commitment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, you're, you're, well, I guess you're, you're familiar with the process then you're my tour guide. Where are we going? Um, I guess we'll start this way just cause I really like this entrance. Okay. That I made to my bug area. Ooh, we need more <laughs> paths. We really do. <laughs> yes, we do. I love your trail of the, the glowy and I'm very impressed with how you managed to I'm already distracted. <laughs> I, I'm very impressed with like how you managed to vary the heights with all of the different seating options that you have. I tried so many different stools and like catching all of those bugs. Now, anytime I see a star paper lantern bug, I have to stop and get it. Ooh, it's, nice. it's just like a obsession now. Well, that's cool. I mean, everybody, <laughs> they it goes to show you there's something for everybody <laughs> yeah this so is this really is nice yeah just like my bugs and fish area i like the wallpaper that you chose for this like it it really that wallpaper especially has a good mm, like a like a by the beach look to it <laughs> you know it seems worn yeah, as soon as I got it, I was like, I need to use it somewhere. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah. And I always like how people use these directional lights for for displays. That was really cool. Yeah. And I, I've seen lots of people use this um, wallpaper and this tile together, and it just looks so good. It really does. I yeah, really like it, it really does. It's a... Uh... I don't know how to describe it. It, it seems very mm, seaweed, but not like in a <laughs> in a bad way. It's it's like modern seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> and my bug area. Nice bug area. It's still adding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Do these have the names? These here. these have three different colors. <laughs> I haven't named them. That's a great idea, though. Oh, my gosh. I can only imagine if you named each one of these. Somebody's oh, going to. They would all be food names for sure. They'd all be food. Wow. All right, cool. <laughs> and then these guys feeling yeah, a little crabby. They kind of feel in between fish and bugs. So, yeah, that's why they're there. <laughs> you guys go here. That's where you go. I don't know if you want to keep going outside or go inside. I, like I said, I, I'm following you. Uh, I don't know if you've, I don't know if you've done this. I just learned about this today from, from Ellie. Have you tried picking a mushroom yet? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so fun. There's let's, one over here. Let's show that real quick. Yeah. I noticed that over here. Let's show that. It's hilarious. <laughs> you have this little guy that pops around it's hilarious it's so cute that yep anytime i see a mushroom i pick one up <laughs> i wish you could like get multiple at the same time that would be fun yeah i think with uh with ellie's it parachutes and falls her around oh. um i guess this is just my main living area i mean don't don't minimize this this is this is really nicely well laid out <laughs> it's not like themed or anything. Some people like have these really cool themes and layouts and all this stuff. It's I would say it's a jelly donut theme. <laughs> you know, not everything has to have a theme. Sometimes it's just cohesive, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. You got mixy matchy and you got matchy matchy. I like this kitchen though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I had a hard time trying to figure out 
a layout that I liked to look at I and have, where I could use stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's really it can it can really be a challenge, but I dig the L shape. I haven't seen an L shaped island like this before. That's a really good mm. implementation. Especially how you have the uh, the oven in here too. I'm just gonna take on all the details. <laughs> I like the corner. See, it's methodical, you know. Yeah. And my preserving station. Yeah, it's where the jamming happens. Yep. And my food hallway. <laughs> Everybody like needs to have food. a food hallway, you know. It's it's so it's appropriate. I mean, it's like you're going from here to there, A to B. You gotta grab a snack on the way. Yeah, exactly. Grab food, sit down. A transitory snack. Yeah. But oh, I forgot to put these away. <laughs> I uh, was putting the plates in here, and I was just moving stuff around. Nah, it's okay. Really cool. Very, very cool. I like how uh, you just... This seems like a very special plate. <laughs> I want to put something else in there. I'm just not sure what. Well... Like, with it. You seem like you are prepared to defend your, your homestead. Because you can use the plate as a shield. You can have this sword conveniently there. Oh, I like it. Yes. Yeah. I'm down. Cool. Um, I guess let's finish off the inside real quick. It's not very big, so... No, nah, but it's cozy. Like, <laughs> there's different. Everybody has different styles, and you have really good balance. I like your, I like your use of lighting. Ah, uh, yes, this is good. <laughs> I really like the Moonstruck stuff. I think that's my favorite set. I guess. Yeah. You got your your bug homies. <laughs> yeah. I wish wait we can't um like tile the ceilings can we not that i've seen oh that would be cool that would be cool maybe someday maybe someday we'll have like floor to ceiling and all the walls as water oh like that the, would be awesome yeah i would that would be awesome and Ooh. then my little bathroom no this is this is really nice Ooh, that's a nice touch <laughs> well, you know, it's fun to it's fun to kind of mix and match uh, the different the different wallpaper styles. When you take the same wallpaper in a single space, you have it looks nice. But when you mix it up like you have, you have this nice little mm, separation, <laughs> and you really have like a good good word for it. But the fact that you have the fact that you have this here and then you have the water here it create because it's a dynamic wallpaper you have a lot more visibility you know it's pretty mm -hmm. cool mm -hmm. especially because it's a small space yeah i was trying to figure out what size to do the bathroom but the one always seemed too small and then the small room was too big so <laughs> i had to yeah. do two hallways Hey, uh, people's creative use of hallways really, really can can just totally scratch that itch for some people. It's I, it's amazing what people have been doing with them. Yeah, really, really has, really has. We'll take a good view of of your patio areas. Very nice. Wait. Um, oh, what? yeah, we're no, just like, I'm just kind of taking a look around. We were inside and now we're in the backyard. Yeah, that's um, cool. This is my little hunting area for here, like target practice. Oh, ooh, sweet. <laughs> Once I get, I save up to get the actual targets. I'm going to put them over there. But yeah, for now, for now, it's got the derpy deer. <laughs> yep. And snacks. 
Mm -hmm. These are snacks you've been, you're proud of, of course. Meat snacks. Meat yes. snacks. Yeah. <laughs> Got to have your, your deer jerky while you're shooting the deer, you know? Yeah. But this is cool, though, like how you have the, the stand here and you have the natural trees. Yeah. All we need now, uh, Singularity 6, if you're listening, we need hats with apples on them. <laughs> yes. Moving targets. Um, I guess we'll do this really quick since we're over here. Right. Um, my little Kitsu area. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> chance. I haven't had a chance. Come here. Come here. Oh, so cute. So cute. I haven't had really had a chance to like take a picture. Ooh, I got I got a picture of it looking real proud. I'm gonna post that. That was good. That was good. <laughs> nice. I wish we could have those for pets. Oh, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So cute. So cute. Yeah. Um guess we'll go over to my workshop area. There's so many little details. You know what's really fun about these paleo tours is it's not necessarily what I think. It's what everybody else thinks, you know, um, everybody I kind of, you know, cue if you're watching this right now, definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you like about this paleo tour, because it's so fun for me just to kind of see how everybody takes inspiration. And while you may look at this every day and you're just like, eh, you know, it's my my outdoor area. People take notes. I'm sure like you have as well, you know, and, and other yeah. tours that you've seen. People take notes on things that I miss all the time. I love this. It's really cool. <laughs> Everybody just is, is, is so creative and supportive. It's it's uh, it's so nice. Yeah, I really like that, that everybody just seems to appreciate each other's builds yeah. rather than like being, I don't know jealous or weird about it or anything yeah you're like oh you have that makeshift furniture how dare <laughs> yeah. you get blessed by the rng <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh hey got a nice egg flex there so oh, yep. shiny it's my favorite color shiny <laughs> yep yep very nice very nicely laid out like i like how you use specifically i like how in this particular area, I appreciate, I guess as an engineer myself, I appreciate when people take the things that we typically use for crafting and stuff and make it a nice area, you know? It doesn't just have to be all business. Yeah. Yep. Because you want it to look nice. You want to look at something nice, so. Yeah, absolutely. This is my farm area. And the bathroom hiding back there. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Very cool. I like how you separated your farm plots. Just kind of keep it mixed up. I mean, because it seems very realistic, I guess, that someone would have, you know, separate areas for, for certain things. Mm -hmm. Or like, as you get more area to farm, you're like, oh, let me add these plants over here. Or... Yeah, absolutely. And you can, you have a little bit more flexibility in terms of how you dress it up. You know, the mm -hmm. surrounding area and such. Yeah. But I really like how you decorated all of your, your patios and... Ooh, this, yeah, you, you extended it. That's cool. Yeah, I ended up doing that on the back porch for um, the telescope, trying to put the telescope on it, um, but it doesn't go on tables. <laughs> so That's why we can't have nice things. Yeah, so just put it near the extended area in the back. Yeah. But that's pretty much it. <laughs> very nice very nicely done so one of my favorite parts of course is Q&A time <laughs> 
Where would be the coziest place on your house or plot? Um, we could go by the koi pond, I guess. Nice. I do like the koi pond. Oh, you look, look mm -hmm. at that. That's you. You're prepared. Yay. Q&A time, one of my favorite parts of the Paleo Tours is getting to know you a little bit better. I like your name, obviously, Jelly no Jelly, Jelly of the Donut. It's very proper. Is there history with that? Just just out of curiosity. I've, I've used the name Jelly in gaming for years. And then when I started this game, it was kind of like having a first and last name, but I still wanted to stick with Jelly and it just made sense. <laughs> it, it does make sense, you know? It, it sounds very regal, Jelly of the Donut. Like Frodo of the Shire. Yes, yes. <laughs> Met of the Effendi. <laughs> <laughs> How did you come by your name? Oh, that is a great question. I, I do love kind of letting people know because it is confusing at times, but commits are changes in code. And an offending commit is a change that breaks the code. It is a moniker oh. I've had many times in my, my time as a geek. So, <laughs> you know, I was just like, hey, that seems appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll have to ask my husband if he, if he gets it. Yeah, there there has been there has been one person in Palea so far that's just like, ah, your name, I get it. I'm just like, yeah, finger guns, and that's about it. But yeah, <laughs> no, it's, that's that's pretty much it. What were you saying? That the finger guns should be an emote in the game. It should. Yeah, we need dance emotes as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that covers what would your emote be, right? <laughs> yes. I like Don't. to add some some fun ones though too. Like, okay, so I noticed that you have an extensive bug collection. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is there a style of bug that you would like to see in Palea that you know we don't have currently? Oh, that's a good question. I I think well in real life I like like ants and worms and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we don't really have bugs that are. I mean, we have like millipedes and stuff, right? But I think it would be kind of cool to have like a thing of like an ant farm or a worm farm type thing. Oh, that would be interesting. That would definitely be interesting. I wonder how they would implement that. Well, Just where like you little... could see it. Yeah, not where you could like... see it. <laughs> not, not the one that we already have. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, now that would be that would be really fun. There is something for everyone in Paleo, and I think it's kind of a fun idea to, to have those kind of things. The non-traditional pets, as it were, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. I like throwing the softball ones like, you know, how long have you played Palea? And I think it was a couple days after open beta. Yeah. I, I joined. I was watching one of my sim YouTuber people and yeah. she was playing Palea. And I was like, that looks amazing. Yeah. And so it has. Started playing. Yeah, it has been uh, it has been a journey, you know, uh, like I look how old Pele actually is when it comes to when they open it up for everybody. And it hasn't really been that long. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, it feels like it, but it hasn't really been that long. Yeah, it was like only yesterday, you know, we were fighting for for oars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. So as far as like house decorations go, what do you feel would be and then I'll, I'll give you a little backstory to this, right? One of the fun things for me has been building this community up of people that have amazing homes. And I've had some people that have asked me to come back out for Paleo Tours. What sorts of plans do you have for your plot for the future? Ooh, not big plans, really. Or maybe like another plot, right? Yeah, I'm saving up for a few guild items. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I was looking at starting a new plot and doing something with the gazebo. Mm -hmm. I almost got that. And then just figuring out something like completely different to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, def definitely. It's fun to kind of stretch those kinds of ideas, and especially the gazebos, because they're little pockets, little pockets of space that you can just kind of have a whole environment. You know, once you walk in them, it really kind of feels like you're somewhere else, you know, just for just for a bit. So those are kind of fun to, to decorate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I was um, <laughs> I was watching one of your other videos. Yeah, yeah. And you guys were talking about like community lots. Yes. Like what fun that would be, and uh, it made me think about possibly making a lot for like a little, just with a couple different houses for my kids because I'm trying to get them to play with me. <laughs> well, and, that's like, such a sweet idea. Give them each a little harvest house and like 
help them decorate it or decorate it for them so that they have all the stuff or some of the stuff to play and have fun with, you know, so it's not all like you got to get everything. <laughs> yeah, no, that that is a really that's a really good idea. I'm hoping that me personally, I'm hoping uh, that they start adding features to the communities in the game itself and you know so we can have community pods it would be nice for people to be able to bring uh supplies or at least be able to craft things you know um mm -hmm. while they're on the plot that way you really can have a sense of community you know have multiple harvest houses like you said and have people be able to decorate stuff you know on the same plot as opposed to the person you know who owns the plot has to have all of the things and have it all set out and you know that that sorts of thing yeah mm -hmm. thank you so much for having me out for the tour i always enjoy doing these and just showcasing everything that people have brought to paleo it's it's always fun for me to uh to get to meet everybody too and yeah no it was fun um getting to to actually meet you <laughs> kind of <laughs> yeah, I'm, but, I'm, um, yeah i'm nothing to write home about I'm just commit that breaks things <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I really, I really appreciate that. It's, it's been a lot of fun. I hope everybody who has stuck around this long, uh, go ahead and like the video. Make sure to follow me for more paleo tours. You know, I bring it. I will see you all for the next one. Until then, take care. Bye bye.